Assalamu alaikum. My name is Ishul Abdul Halain, and welcome to my video on the introduction to the 68K microprocessor. This video is the part 4 from a 6 part series that aims to give you introductory knowledge about this topic. In this video we are going to see how memory address and data is organized in the 68K microprocessor. Hopefully at the end of the series, you would have gained an understanding on what the 68K microprocessor is, how it works and how it is programmed. The main function of the memory block in the 68K microprocessor is to store data. It does this job in a very systematic manner. In order to understand memory, we can say that memory is organized like a two-column table, the first column is for address while the second column is for data. The address for a 68K microprocessor is 24 bits wide. Data, on the other hand, can be formatted to be either one byte, one word, or one long word in size. The size of the memory is determined by the number of address locations the memory has, since for the 68K microprocessor, the address size is 24 bits, thus. The size of memory is 2 to the power of 24 unique addresses, this is more than 16 million addresses in total, the address values range from 0000000, 000000 to 000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000
address 1 contains the value 8F. Note that 8F is at a higher memory location when compared to 89. Thus, in the 68K memory content table, it is written to the right of 89 with a dash in between. This results in 898F to be stored at address 0. 898F is a 16-bit number. Recall that one hex digit can be represented by a 4-bit binary string. Thus, a 4-digit hex number is 16 bits in size. Let's move on to fill in more data into this memory table. The first byte of data for address 2 is taken from address 2 from the table on the left. Its value is 29 and this is what we are going to write in the second address's data column in the table on the right. Back to the left table, address 3 is 76. This value is written beside 29 in the table on the right. The memory contents now 2976. Notice that 29 is the higher byte and 76 is the lower byte. However, 29 is written at address 2 which is lower than where 76 is stored which is at address 3. I think that you can fill in the contents for address FFFFFE. Yes, you are correct, its value is A32F from the table on the right. A3 is the higher byte while 2F is the lower byte. A3 is kept at one address lower than 2F. This is the big endian order. The higher byte is stored in the lower memory location and the lower byte at the higher memory location. Only even addresses are shown in the table. The odd addresses are not shown but are implied. Both memory tables are actually the same. Here is something for you to try. Pause the video and write down your answer. I'll assume that you have tried it. Hopefully you obtained the correct answer similar to this. We will now take a look at a method on how you can write the memory contents using text. The format we are using is called a memory dump. It is a very useful method of showing a lot more memory contents when compared to a table format as we have seen recently. These two blocks of memory hold 16 bytes of data each. Block 1 holds data from address 0 to F while block 2 from address 1 0 to 1 F. We will start with block 1 in order to write these two blocks in the memory dump format. First of all we shall write the first even address. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 here and call it the base address. Then, write the 15-bit index at the top. Now we shall fill in data from block 1 into our memory dump. The data at address 0 in block 1 is 89. We will write it at the index position 0 in the memory dump. Now, address 1 contains data 8F, since it is at address 1, we will write it at base address 0 under index 1 in the memory dump. Let's do another one, the data at address 2 is 29. We will write 29 under index 2 in the dump, address 3's content is written under index 3. The rest of the data from address 4 to F are filled into the memory dump in the similar fashion. Looking at the memory dump that we just have written, can you see a memory table? Of course. You have addresses and data, in order to obtain an address of a particular data, for example 29, you just have to add the even base address, 0 with the corresponding index, which in this case is 8. Thus data 29 is stored at address 8. Thus, the base address plus the index address tells you the actual address you are interested in. I would like to highlight that you can write 16 bytes of data in one line of memory dump. We can fill in block 2's content in our memory dump easily, what is the value of the base? Yes, it is 1 0. We will write this down underneath the base address 0. At address 1 0 the data is A1, so we will write A1 under index 0. The data at address 1 1 is 3 3 and is written here, and the rest follow suit. If we had more data to write down we could do so by adding another base address to the bottom. The next base address would simply be 20. Here is an example. In fact, you could keep going on until the last byte. In order to write the last 16 bytes of data, 
the final base address should be FFFFF0, here is an example. Combining this with the knowledge of data with various data sizes, can you tell me the value of the 32-bit data stored at address 26? To get to address 26, we would look at base 20 and under the index 6. Thus, the value is FA1B2CCC. Let's try another one, what is the word value at address 2E? You are correct, the answer is 2A75. One last question to strengthen your understanding. What is the value of the data byte stored at address 24? Right again, it is 3A. One important thing to remember is that the base address plus the index address gives you the actual address that you are looking for. So now that you have understood Big Endian order and memory dump format, you have already understood the basics about the 68K memory organization. Thank you for your attention and have an awesome day.